I don't want to be near the edge. That goes really deep. Not and don't put your full trust in that. Today we're in Dunorwig, a small town in Wales which could easily be mistaken for Mordor. But this isn't Mount Doom, this is Electric Mountain. We're on a quest to explore every inch of its fabled slopes, every abandoned structure, every deep chasm, and every tunnel. But things don't always go as planned. <laughs> It'll be gruelling, wet, windy. It's a bit windy! And we'll push our friendships to the limit. I'm gonna smash you already. <laughs> Right, today we're here in Wales and we're gonna go check out some more ruins and stuff that's around this mountainous area. So, strap yourself in and enjoy. We start our journey here, a car park in the north. There is a footpath which runs all the way through the quarry. It was a fairly quiet day, but we did see the occasional hiker. Hello. Hi. Right, so... We call, we call this the electric mountain, don't we? We do call it electric mountain. Do you know why we call it electric mountain? Because it's a mountain made out of electrical discharge. That's not actually discharge. true. This, this mountain is called electric mountain because this was where Jimi Hendrix invented the electric guitar. Right, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that is something or not. Oh, that hole? Yes. Yeah, good call, man. Well, you see, there's like structures dotted about everywhere. Do you want me to go? Oh, are where? you wearing your sister's backpack? It's famous, this bag, boy. You don't slander it. It's been on telly. Huh? There's a person in that hole. What? There's two people in that hole. Get off my arm! Sorry, <laughs> I just got scared. After a short walk, we came within sight of this mountain's most unique feature. So that down there... That's the power station. That's the there. power station, isn't it? And John was very keen to explain how it works. It's something to do with God. They pray in that hole and it creates electricity. Do you know how it actually gets I do actually know how it works. Why did you pay attention when we went on the school trip? There's this body of water here, it's hydroelectric, so there's this body of water here, and then right at the top of the mountain there's another pool of water. And this doesn't produce energy, like, all the time. It only produces it at times when the grid needs extra energy. So it's like basically a battery. What does it do? Just push water through? So it, when, when there's a short supply of energy, it takes water from the top, rushes it all the way down the mountain through a turbine, oh, yeah. creates some electricity for the point for the peak times when it needs energy. And I then could, could have when energy is like an oversupply, it uses that extra electricity to pump the water back up the mountain. <laughs> to waste electricity. To waste electricity, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Al, your dog's running off. <laughs> After Al had retrieved his dog, we found our first abandoned structure. What's this? Nothing. Then John discovered the Nord Stream 1. Oh my god. It's the Russian pipeline. That's it. Have a suck on the end of that, I'll see what it does. I don't think I'd fit my mouth Of course you would. You've had your mouth around bigger stuff than that. After these two vital discoveries, we decided the best plan was to just get as high as we can. The view is uh, spectacular. What a house. It does kind of look like uh, Machu Picchu. It's like the Machu Picchu of Wales. The Machu Picchu of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> this entire mountain has just been ripped to shreds. Look at the state of this winch. Have you found have you found the tablet sent from God? I found a fucking map. <laughs> right. Where does it lead? No one knows. Clickbait. <laughs> oh, Mark. What? <gasps> we found a mine. No, we found a mine. We found a mine, but first, my point from earlier. This is off the beaten track. They're like houses or, I'm guessing houses because, yeah, there, there must be houses. There's fireplaces in the backs of them. Obviously, the chimney gives it away, but I thought it could be some kind of workhouse. But these are similar to the houses down there. The whole mountain is split into a dozen or so levels. We were on level three and already the heights were becoming a problem. I don't like being near the edge. 
That goes body. That goes really deep. <laughs> I don't like doing near the edge of it. Norton! Don't! Because he's genuinely scary. Mark is genuinely scared. Someone had also seemed to set up a pet cemetery. Oh my god, we're in, we're in the pet cemetery. The tunnel we found earlier seemed to go around, so we ventured in to see if we could find another route. Maybe not. Is it just a. Way up, there, mate? Uh, Way up here? Yeah. I don't think so. Where have you come from? Down here. <laughs> How'd you get down there? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? What is it? That hole with a chain hanging out of it. What, lower, lower yourself down? No, to climb up. That bit just seemed a bit hollow. I already don't like this. I'll do. What's happening? There's people down there. What's up, ruckus? And they told us that... They, there's a waterfall and a cave down there. Why oh, did it actually tell us that? Yeah. I hope he tells us to piss off. <laughs> there's no way we can go. Stop being racist. I think the best way to get down there is go back where we came from. Do you know where there's that well, pool we're obviously there? Too, Yeah, we're obviously too high up, aren't we? I think, I think probably the best way to get down there is if we jump. <laughs> Do you want it? Is that the aim to get down there? Well, they said there's a cave and a waterfall down there. Well, let's go have a look. I think, well, I think, I think we're, the general consensus now has changed, and we've oh. and we've got a plan. We're going to try and get down here because there's a waterfall. What do you call Mammy a seagull on his head? You mean that bit that we just came from? Ed, man. Cliff. <laughs> climbing up to where we are. What do you mean the climbing up to where we are? What else? So with that way out of the question, we carried on climbing until we stumbled across this. Wow! Holy shit! That's a hole, isn't it? Oh my god. The hole was vast and not something we could easily get around, so we bottled it. What do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Because that would crap bed. Cliff. I like how it's got like a really, really beautiful setting. You know, it's outstanding view. Yeah. But yet there's a shit fucking uh, place on there. What? A oh, wastage. Sewage. A wastage. Uh, sewage. Um, what's the word? Treatment plant. Treatment plant right there. It's Wales, isn't that it? That describes this. That describes Wales to a T. When you're climbing a hill in Wales, you think you're getting to the top. You never actually at the top. Look at that strange sub structure up there. And that. See these buildings? Um, do people live in them? What are you talking about? Because before... I was talking about when you were in prison. Oh, right, yeah. So I'm just on the roof of one of these houses. Look at the chimney in the corner. I mean, it's so mad that people used to live in something like this. Not really that long ago either. This is this is a, one of the reasons why uh, the Welsh hate the English. Now probably a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but ultimately they don't like us and for one of them reasons, for many reasons, because we're complete and utter bastards. I'm not I'm not talking about me. I'm on about the things that happened in history. But they would the English would come and set up mining towns like this. What they would do is they would hire a lot of local Welsh people. They would build houses like this for the miners to live in. And then the companies would have their own currency that they would pay the miners in, that they could pay their rent from and whatnot, and they would get paid in this currency. So they could trap them by giving them very little of this currency that means absolutely nothing outside of the boundaries of the mine and the areas of the mine. And so basically, if the, the family's getting paid in fictional fucking money, they could never save up enough money to leave. So when the mines went out of business, they were fucked. And obviously whatever they were mining, they were selling for real coin. You know, some proper queens. But yeah, there you go. I'd live there. Lick of paint. Bob's your uncle. Wait, this is treacherous. I think you'd be able to stop yourself there with 
we're halfway up to heaven in a hill in Wales. Should we take guesses on what it's going to be? What have we done? A bottle of Corona. <laughs> it's that's, everywhere. That's where it all started. Whoa! Bloody hell, this is the biggest building we've seen. Hey, what have we got so in what's here? What's this then, not? It's some kind of ancient device. Oh, wow! There's a lot of uh, SHIT. Some kind of thing. Oh, we might see what it actually is. Boy, do you might want to get this on big camera. New York? In Ingersoll. Ingersoll. Yeah, that's where it was Rand. made. Ingersoll New Rand York. Company. Imperial Type 10. New York? What Apparently. The, why the f you look up, the, all the things are just like tree branches, look. Oh yeah. Oh, they're not even like planned and... And it's just all slate on the roof. I do like that. It's cool, isn't it? No, it Manchester, this one. It's a sand blaster. Wow, it looks like a textile it's mill. It does, it? doesn't it? It's a gym and these are all rowing machines. Will that be where the conveyor belt went through, no? Oh yeah, look, that'll be... They'll cut the slate to size, won't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Don't put your shoes on there, oh. Ah, tetanus! That's pretty fucking cool, is that? Yeah, all these are table saws. After a stroll around the workshop listening to John's theories... I think it were a lumber yard. ...and my facts. Did you know that lobsters piss out of their head? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know that's an actual fact? What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> lobsters piss out of their face. You're pissed out of your face. <laughs> That's where the phrase pissed as a lobster comes from. <laughs> we decided on a new plan. Oh! Right, you probably can't hear me. We've decided we're not going to the top because I went to the top last time and it's basically a hole in the wall or something, I don't know, I wasn't really listening. But we're going back down to where we first wanted to go because that looked exciting and fun and we're all, it's all going to make us all happy. So in a nutshell, we were heading back down to see if we could find an entrance to the cave that we found earlier. That lake just looks like a toxic dump. It does, doesn't it? it? looks like a toxic dump. It proper looks like, like, Radioactive, the end of the world. It's like horror shit, doesn't it? Mm. It's fucking odd. It's weird, like, you know how, like, how there's a lot of people that say, like, oh, England's a shithole, or mm, we're in Wales, Britain's a shithole. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, like, that does not look like we're like a couple of hours away from where we live. No. It's fucking mad. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, this no, this is weird. What's your head, boy? Yeah, so that's what all the cup of four are about. That's what all the yeah, cup of four are about. That's where that big rock's fallen from. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, my God. Look at how clean these lines are. They're like perfect right angles. So that is literally falling out of there. That's just like a reminder of how unstable all this place is. I think that we might be able to get down into that. Oh. Come down there. Do you think, that, do you think I'm looking at that yeah. as if it's a lot smaller than it actually yeah, is? Yeah, especially that bit there. Never mind. What, how are we going to get over there? I don't know. I thought maybe you could get round somehow. Oh, maybe, yeah. Do you ever wish you were a bird and you could just fly? What's concerning? Is that literally down there, the entire, like, one massive piece of rock off the tunnel fell off at some point? Yeah, then fine. That fell off? Do you think it, you'd just become like a paste? Yeah. I want to I wanna go see this bit up clo closer up. What bit? Because I had, I had it in my head that I could get down to where that cave was. Oh, ow! There's a structure in there. You see it? Like a platform? Yeah. Interesting. See that yeah. Jump out. I don't think I'll be able to get back up. It'd be difficult. No, you can't. 
Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to pull myself back up there. Now, we did actually make it into the mine shaft. Are you ready? But when we reviewed the footage, it looked a little bit like this. Well, I'm recording now, so I'm okay. Sorry, I'm not good at cameras. So rather than give you 10 minutes of Val's face, we decided to come back a different day. Are you really going to go down the hole, Mark? Oh, really? Alex wasn't so optimistic. I ain't going down there today. This is a lot harder to do when it's fucking wet. Granite or slate, whatever you want to call it, has like no grip. We're getting somewhere. That's the mine. It ain't looking good. We're going to go down there, go down there. There was just no way we were going to make it down this time. So we headed over to a row of abandoned houses that were used by the miners. Oh, and Ian and Chris turned up as well. We're training with the Ukrainian army. Everyone in the Nan's seen this. All the, you know, these uh, Instagram photographer people come here and take many pictures. It's uh, one of the things to see. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to go. We're going to head back up and uh, cover some bits and bobs that we didn't see. Found some out about this place, which was quite interesting. There was a guy in the 1890s who was like a, a, a call, I think they call him a blocker, and he used to like chop the slate up into blocks. And uh, he was pissing around with dynamite in his house and fucked up and blew his head off. Yeah, I mean a lot of um, uh, they used to uh, live in Anglesey and come here and then fuck off home at the weekend. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Ethan's <laughs> got stolen valor from the Black Panthers. <laughs> it was time to start heading up the mountain. It is wet and it is wild. No. Yeah. Well, you're mad, that's mad, isn't it? What's that, an old shaft? Yeah, you're a shaft. <laughs> Ian, don't you run a gang called the Street Sharks? Oh. No, it's Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time? <laughs> Go on, Cody, you do it. What? Why did the fucking busy pass it on? Start either to those stairs behind that building. It was at this point that we encountered some satanic goats, which we greeted in the usual fashion. Hello! Ian seemed particularly oh. fond. In reality, day two was a failure. It was wet, we didn't get into the mine, and we kept being followed by two doggers who wouldn't take no for an answer. So we got rid of them and came back for day three. I'm trying to film, stop ripping me! <laughs> What's up? My back's just gone. Fucking hit my spine. I hit it and all. Day three was brimming with optimism, and morale was high. There was nothing stopping us from completing our quest. What would we find inside the mountain? Now. <laughs> Someone's done a painting. Is it actually a pain? I don't know. Get your finger on it, lad. He just rubbed his face off. I brought a bit of uh, garden rope to aid me down. Hello! Down there on the Who's that? Who's that guy? Just ignore me. What? Pretend I'm not here. I'm like normal then. Am I going to I'm going down there. Yeah. Oh fuck. Uh, Alright, we'll come out. Last time we came that was solid as a rock. Like Dwayne Johnson rock. It's at this moment right here you should hit the subscribe button. Did it fall out? Yeah, it's not even fucking like in at all. Right, the filming for this maybe is really shocking, so I'm gonna turn it off and the man over there can take over. 
Don't pull it out. Not him, don't put your full trust in that. What the hell? Is Indiana Jones in it? Oh yeah. Yep, don't trust it. Just a little bit below where that foot is not and you've got a foothold. Peek out over a little bit more and you'll see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're cooking on gas now. Yeah. One small step for man. Another giant leap for mankind. Right, let's get in this mine so we can fucking go home. Just thought of something. Have you got torches? I have. I swear that Lucas Aid bottle was there last time. Oh, look at this. How cute. Martin and Amy forever. Well, they're both dead now, so let's both move on. I can hear a dripping. Slimier than a bloody ice cream man's leg. It's been KFC lately. Look at blood on them. Bloody hell. Come on, naughty naught. I hate how like loose everything is. My back is fucked. So trying to pull myself up is going to be interesting. You can hear the humming in here. What would you do if we got to the end of it and someone had opened it up? Did this just turn into a cave show? Yeah. Dunno. Dunno. There's a sign. What's the sign say, big lad? That sign's weird. Someone's obviously brought it. So there's absolutely no vehicles over three tons beyond this point. Right, well, good fucking luck with that. It's quite a deep. It's quite deep in, to be fair. I think. I think that goes to the lake. Do you know what I mean? But it's. Do you know that big wash that's come down at the side of the lake? I think that's just like covered it in. Right, let's get out of here. Not really anything of interest down here, but. Quite you had to get down. You ha we had to grab up. Yeah. That's what we're all about. You got to look in them cr crevices. <laughs> remember that time? Yeah, I remember. What did you do this weekend? Not much. 